Okay, everybody, is a quick video showing um, a practical, easy way to set up your living room PC, uh, set up PC as uh, your main gaming device in your living room to your TV. And I'll do that um, by showing you obviously my PC and easy way to connect and then also how to use Steam in big picture mode for controlling all your games on your, con uh, your controller. Okay, so I'll quickly show you my PC, small form, ATX case, uh, bit and fix. I'm sure that's uh, not the way to pronounce it, but that's how I pronounce it. I got my uh, MSI Twin Frozer um, NVIDIA 660 graphics card, 550 watt uh, power supply, one terabyte Western Digital Black um, main storage drive, that will get bigger. And I've also got my 60 gig SSD drive in there. Okay. Quickly show you the back. HDMI cable going into the TV there. Sorry, show a bit better. I've also got three terabyte external storage drive. There you can see my, uh, that's my Wi-Fi adapter. Um, the AS Rock motherboard that I've got in here has got a built-in Wi-Fi, so I've got it connected to my network. Okay, so I'll on with the power. It's a Logitech wireless controller that I bought today. Yeah, you'll see how quick, uh, quick it zippy this system is with the windows running off the SSD drive fairly fresh install as well it's been installed for a week or two now very quiet system as well almost silent got my sound running through my surround sound although I will be buying it uh, getting a different surround setup okay so in theory, what we will be doing is um, uh, getting Steam to run straight away from startup and then jumping straight into big picture mode. At the moment, because it's a beta, it's a little bit fiddly. It um, doesn't always work the way you want it to go. Um, but when it does, it works very nice. Okay. So we've got connecting to Steam now. And it's done that automatically on by itself. So at the moment, I've had no need, no need at all to connect uh, to use a keyboard. Even though I have got my wireless keyboard, which I'll show you here. So Enemax with trackball, left and right mouse buttons, and a scroll wheel. Really nice. Really thin. All wireless. Okay. So here we go anyway, it's, low, it's gone straight into Steam, in bit, into big picture mode, without me having to touch anything. This is what I'm going to be using, it's my 360 PC controller. Right, I'll try and keep it all in shot to show, yeah, well done. <laughs> Alright, try again. So here we are nav navigating the menus. Store, library, community. Store. So here we've got the features games that are out and coming out. We have menus at the bottom, new releases, coming soon, daily deals, weekend deals. All the usual things that you would see in the usual Steam store, but obviously with a, um, a much better UI, a user interface. So, all those console loving people can feel right at home. Okay. Go into the community. These are my friends, or some of my friends online. To my library. 
Now, uh, the good thing about this, although it's not fully fleshed out yet, um, you've got my library. I'll go down to view all games, sorry, yeah. There you go, view all games. I can go into a menu here. These are all, all my installed games. But if I go up to here, now this will show me all of the games in my men, in my um, collection, my library, that have got controller support. So these are the ones, you know, I could just control all off my TV, off my controller, without having to use a keyboard. Okay. I'll show you the ones that I've got installed at the moment. I'll jump into a game just to show you how it works. Sleeping Dogs, one that I'm playing quite a lot. One second. There we go. Just launching into the game. One thing I will show you here. You press the home button on the 360 controller, it takes you straight into the community. Home button again. Nice. Don't know if you saw that button. That and the right trigger takes a screenshot. And then just quit out. There you go, once you're out, it's asking you, got some new screenshots, do you want to manage them? So okay. There are the screenshots that I just took share them, you can put them on an online gallery. And this, say I'm adding a comment, this is the uh, the text wheel, this is a new flower like petal design they've done to um, speed up um, text input rather than being on a traditional keyboard layout. We've gone for this system which you know it's all color coded and it's a little bit tricky at first but once you get used to it it's actually very fast it becomes a lot faster than using the traditional keyboard layout unless you you know actually want to type with a keyboard obviously that's much faster anyway so there you go that's my uh, demonstration of big picture steam Shows it's perfectly possible to have the most powerful console in the world, <laughs> by far.